The new South East Security Network uh, con codenamed ABB Agu is greeted with mixed reactions. And as the River State local government elections draw near, non-payment of grants to political parties causes protests. Well, this is Post Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cole. Southeast governors have vowed to repel any attempt by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOM, to disturb its new security network, codenamed Ebu Beago. Likewise, the Eastern Security Network was also urged by the Igbo social cultural organization, Ohanez Indibo, to join forces with Ebu Beago to protect Igbo land against killer herdsmen. However, in a turn of events, IPOM had, in a statement signed by the media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, warned Igbo youths against being members of the new security network, threatening to deal with anyone that might spy on its activities for Ibubi Agu. Well, joining us to have this conversation is Dr. Desmond Echeta. He is a senior lecturer in the, in the Imo State Polytechnic. Uh, and uh, of course, we have Anthony Ogbekile. He's a current affairs analyst. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Yeah, thank, oh, thank you. Very you. Thank you very much. Great. I'm going to start with you, um, Anthony. Um, a lot of things have happened, of course, in the southeast that had uh, prompted the governors of the southeastern states to put together this security network. Now, um, of course, we know that Nigeria, as it is right now, is suffering from um, uh, the highest, if not, level of insecurity. Um, but give us a, a clear knowledge of what Ibubeagu is supposed to do in the southeast. I mean, we all know what Amotekun is doing in um, the southwest. We see, um, you know, the other security um, outfit in the north, and now we have Ibu Bagu. Explain to us what they are supposed to do and what um, training that they have. Okay, uh, thank you very much for having me. Mm -hmm. uh, Ibu is just um, a birth of the demand, the cries of the people from the southeast, because uh, the state of security issues that are taking place over the years, over the just in recent times, has given a whole lot of concern, a whole lot of worry, where, especially with the advent of Amoteko and uh, with all the kidnappings and killings going on in the southwest, and when we have this um, ESN and IPOP coming up in the southeast the state of kidnapping, the state of killing by so many men over here, uh, there's been this cry that the Southeast governors need to emulate what the Southwest counterparts are doing. So uh, it's quite belated, but of course they say it's better late than never. So that's why the uh, establishment or the pronouncement of the Virago outfit actually came to birth this past Sunday. Now in answering your question very directly, the Ibubiago outfit, uh, according to the release by the chairman of the Southeast Governor's Forum, who doubles as the governor of Ebony State, the person of uh, Governor David Omani, it's a compendium or an aggregation of vigilante groups in the entire Southeast. And now they're coming together to form this seamless outfit or an umbrella called Ibubiago. Uh, now, uh, Ibubaku in Ibo is from a is, uh, tiger family or, or the lion family, as uh, some others want to put it, the roar or the aura of a lion. So you uh, understand that a tiger or a lion is quite, um, is quite huge, quite a huge animal, the king of the forest, of the jungle, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Now, what it is set to do is to streamline all of these vigilante groups in the southeast together to gather intelligence, and to uh, uh, work with uh, uh, the mainstream security agents to be able to fight crime and uh, also to man the various uh, interstate uh, uh, locations, forests and towns and villages and so on and so forth. Now, each of these respective uh, governors of the Southeast are to handle and finance these uh, uh, vigilante groups 
by themselves, but there's going to be a synergy which will be backed by law by the respective state houses of assembly, which have not been done yet. Of course, there's been this clamor that look, all of these things are supposed to have been done. So uh, all is just in the bid to fight crime, especially uh, uh, these killings and the uh, jailbreak, of course, that took place in Imo State, the killings in, uh, in Ebony State. And if you look at that going on in Enugu, and, and the, also the killing that is going on in Enugu and Abia State. So uh, the Southeast governors, together with Oranez and Digo, were present, and uh, the security uh, chiefs, some, of, some, of, some security uh, representatives were there on Sunday at the meeting, coming together to say, okay, this is what we need to do going forward to assist the security agencies, the military security agencies, to be able to protect people from the Southeast because it is getting so bad and so worse. Interesting. Um, now, the Senate has also called for uh, an investigation into the Ebony State killings. Um, they're asking the Inspector General of Police to make sure that thorough investigation is done on um, those people who were killed and uh, those who were kidnapped. Um, has there been any um, arrests done so far? Any information? And, and what is the certainty that justice will be served? I know that you do not work with the police, but of course you would um, know if there have been any arrests. Okay, um, now that is where the problem lies. Uh, we see killings over and over again in the Eza, Efium Axis, uh, or Huku local government area of um, Ebony State. And uh, just a few days ago, it, just after the Ebubeago announcement, there was another attack. Now, even the governor of the state have not come out to expressly say whether it is. Uh, a border uh, uh, clash between uh, uh, the Ebony Axis and their neighbors in Benway State, or it is an it is an infliction of the Fulani ethnic who attack the communities. But uh, in all of this, we have not seen uh, anybody arraigned. We have not seen uh, any name mentioned. And uh, the governor of Ebony State, in the person of Dave Mahi, came out to say after this attack that he is aware of the people that are responsible, the masterminds of these uh, attacks. But um, so far, nothing uh, in, in terms of drinking or public shaming or arraignments of, these, uh, of the masterminds, so to speak, have been made so far. So we are still waiting to see. Uh, maybe the emergence of the Bugagu will uh, maybe jolt them into life to see uh, <coughs> what is going to come out from the day. Okay, let me go to Dr. Echeta. Dr. Ohanes Indigbo recently has asked that the ESN join uh, forces with Ibubagu to protect the lives of Ndibu. Um, but of course, um, the governors uh, of the southeastern states do not welcome this idea, uh, and it doesn't seem to sit well with them. Can you explain to the ordinary person what the difference between the ESN is and Ibubagu and why? These two should join forces. That's if you're in support of it. Okay. Uh, th thank you. First of all, I appreciate uh, what uh, Anthony Brickley has done already. Uh, he has actually x-rayed uh, the import of uh, Ebu Bagu in the Southeast. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I want to also say here that uh, ESN, for all I know, is still somewhere not open. But Ebu Bago ha is now open because there is backing by all the governors of the Southeast. So ESN is somewhere there, not open. But Ebu Bago is taking that open dimension. When you say not open, so, what exactly do you mean? You're saying that they're staying hidden, that their activities are not being brought to light. Are you saying that they, they probably are now, not it, legitimate? It, now, if you watch from what we've been reading, ESN is an offshoot of IPOB. And you and I know that IPOB, according to the federal government, is a terrorist organization. And if they are terrorist organization, why is it that they are now floating a security outfit? And if they float a security outfit to the extent to which IPOB is a terrorist organization, 
It could also be linked that ESN is also a terrorist organization. What I'm saying is personal to me. Mm. But again, if the people are not clamoring, particularly Hanez and Debo, that ESN should join hands with Ebubago to see that South East is secured. It is also a welcome development. It means that Ohanez and Debo is also understanding that what ESN is doing is also going to be helpful or is already helping the people of the Southeast. But that, that yes, sounds, they, but, that, but that sounds very confusing if in one breath you're saying that these people are seemingly a terrorist organization, even though they're parading themselves as security operatives. Uh, then in, in another breath, you're saying, well, if Ohaneze says that it's okay for them to join forces, then it's okay. I, I don't understand. How can a terrorist group be joining forces with a government-backed security network? Um, I you, don't understand how that works. You, you see, we have to be very, very careful when we get some of all these things in the social media. What you are saying now should be credited to who? Ohane Zendibo, who is the spokesperson of the Ohane Zendibo? Can the person actually tell us that he is aware or he knows how ESM was formed? If he knows how ESM was formed, then he can authoritatively say that ESM should join forces with Ebubago. But if he's not the architect of the ESM, then he doesn't have any powers to say that ESM should join forces with Ebubago. Because to the extent that I know, yes, and is still somewhere operating in hiding. They cannot come out openly to say that they are members of ESN. They can't do that. If they come out openly and say they are members of ESN, I am sure that the law enforcement agent will be able to do something. But for us, from the Southeast, we appreciate what they are doing because they are already helping in securing, particularly the head of Again, you speak killer. from both sides of your mouth. I, 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 <laughs> again, you speak from both sides of your mouth. I'm, I'm sorry, doctor, but you just said, um, you know, is, is Ohaneze is in the words of the Ohaneze spokesperson, but now, now you're saying we in the Southeast appreciate, meaning that you are one of the sympathizers of the people in IPOB. You are a sympathizer of the ESE, ESN, but you'd rather not say it, and you'd rather credit it to Ndibo. Are you a sympathizer? Do you, do you agree with the methods of the IPOB and the ESN in, in the Southeast? Because you just said that you appreciate what they're doing. No, I am not contending to the fact that there is ESN, but if there is, we are making an assumption, if there is ESN, then it will be a good thing that they join forces with a bube. But you just said that you like, you appreciate what they have been doing. Yes, we, we, we are making an assumption. But, and then we are making you said an assumption. If. So how do you appreciate something is that, that is a probability? Exists. And for the purpose for which they are existing is to secure the people of the Southeast. Then it is a good thing. We are making an assumption because this has to be credited to, because I have not seen uh, the formation, ESM formation, parading anywhere. I have not seen it. But you appreciate but saying, the work that they're doing. Assuming it is true, assuming okay. it is true, okay. it will be good that they should join forces with a Bubago. But right. again, the Bubago has a lot of things to do for it to actually come to limelight. light. Okay. Recall that this has to cover all the southeastern states. And there should be proper legislation in all the state houses of assembly for you to actually say that this is a recognized outfit. All Otherwise, right. it, is, it will also turn out the way ESN is being talked about. All right, let me go back to the, um, the other speaker. Now, let's not forget that IPOB um, issued a statement on the other hand, um, and it was signed by the media publicity secretary on Tuesday warning Igbo youths uh, against being members of Ibubuagu, and they also threatened uh, to deal with members of Ibubuagu who uh, would or may become spies uh, in their camp. In fact, they told them that they, they should be ready to meet their ancestors if they dared 
<laughs> to be spying on IPOB or ESN members because they think that those people are traitors. So uh, how do you say prepare to join your ancestors, but then in another breast, you are protecting the Igbos? So those people in Ebubeagu, are they not your brothers and sisters? And I know that this question is not for you, um, Anthony, but you understand where I'm coming from, don't you? Yes, uh, but um, you just answered yourself. If you looked at, if you look at uh, this uh, statement critically, because um, first and foremost, there are pros and cons for the proscribed IPOP group. Now, uh, let me start with the government. It is it's well documented that they have been proscribed as a terrorist organization, even though there have been arguments that this proscribed organization have not, uh, do not bear arms or have not been seen in public to bear arms. Mm -hmm. As against the Boko Haram, that uh, we all know the, uh, the, the, the killings, the bombings, and how they have affected the, 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 the national economy, the national security, the national infrastructure, and so on and so forth. Now, going, going further, the ordinary man in the Southeast, the average Ndibo walking on the streets in the entire state of the Southeast have an affinity, have an empathy towards the ESN. Now, whether you call it street credibility or whatever it is, you can't blame them. First of all, why? Because nature abhors vacuum. Once the mainstream security agencies are not doing their job, the persons that they can relate with or they have a, an emotional or sentimental attachment to, they lean towards them. That's just the way human nature works. Now, for Imam Powerful, uh, of course, we all saw that statement, uh, or we read it rather, and, and, and he came out to say that uh, anybody who from the Bibuabu outfit who comes in to spy the ESN uh, should join the should, should join the um, uh, ancestors. That 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 crudeness, that that uh, the terrorist uh, flavor that uh, they are just trying to prove the federal government right because of statements like this. No matter how uh, terrible, no matter how, how uh, unprofessional, so to speak, uh, we, we've seen from the police or the army, you will not hear statements coming from the mouth of any security official uh, uh, like the way we have seen uh, from the map Powerful and the ESN. Uh, by and large, there is, a, there is a disconnect because I cannot understand how, on one hand, you want to protect Ndibo, and on the other hand, you want to fight uh, 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 an official from Ibubabu who, by all intents and purposes, was an Iboman. Zani Boman. Because remember, it is the vigilante groups of these respective five states that are coming together to make the Ibubabu outfit. So, majority of them, if not all, will be Ibo, Ibo men, Ibo women. So, if you want to fight, if you are telling that. Uh, uh, a member of the Ibubago outfit will join his ancestors if they need a spy. It means that you are creating a clash. And they say when two elephants fight, it is the ground that suffers. Uh, just like uh, uh, Dr. Echeta said, which I must commend him for that, you see that the Eastern Security Network, they are not known. They are under hiding. The, uh, the sister organization, or I would say the parent body that, that actually gave birth to to Unambi Kano and his uh, IFOP movement, talking about Matsu, uh, uh, Ralph was yeah. said that uh, the ESN is uh, only existing on social media, that we don't, we've not actually seen them with our physical eyes. Okay. So for Imam Powerful to be seen from whatever palatial mansion or, 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 or chair he's sitting on, uh, is only going to incite more violence and more animosity between the soon to be paraded uh, Ebibrago outfit and the quote and unquote the hidden Eastern Security Network. But by and large, this statement is not good for the security of the southeastern people that okay. are resident in Nigeria. All right, quickly, we're out of time. Finally, Dr. Echeta, um, I, I want to quickly ask we, we all were here when we had the Bakasi boys at the time. They seemed to be the good guys, they seemed to be protecting. It was a vigilante group. and. They were very famous for, you know, securing, um, you know, the lives and properties and working with police organizations. And then we were all here when it all went bust and, you know, they became a rogue organization. Now, if all the necessary um, work is not done and the trainings are not given uh, and all of the loopholes that have been pointed out are not plugged, um, 
how can we be certain that this doesn't turn into another Bakasi boy situation in closing? Well, okay, okay, all right. Th thank you. you. You see, it let a few chronicle what has been happening from the bet of IPOB that is led by Nam Kano and all that. He got to a point that he started wedding serious influence to the extent that the political leaders in the region had to start doing something to contain him. And that was what actually facilitated the prescription of IPOB. Mm -hmm. And I want to also tell you that that supremacy, who is going to be in charge, is still there. None the can is not holding any political office, yet he has serious influence on the people. And the governors are now also scared, seeing the influence he is wielding. But so the question you have asked, the Southeastern governors, even though they are starting this late, mm -hmm. it is better to be late than never. They have to do everything to see that they try to legalize the outfit, the security outfit. Okay. That is why I'm saying that all the state houses of assembly must actually pass law that will protect this outfit. Once it is done, it will not have the legal backing. So that it will not turn to something that could be used to winch hunt perceived enemies, just like what we saw during the Bakasi. You All know, right. they started like vigilante, and before you know it, they were used against perceived enemies of uh, maybe certain groups of people. So I am sure that if the southeastern governors will do the need to, by trying to pass the necessary laws, give the necessary training to the personnel, because personnel is important, you must give them the right training. Once they have the right training, there will be modus operandi for their operation. All right. Once that is spelled out, then it will help so that it will not turn to what we saw in the days of Dakar. Well, I want to say thank you to you, Dr. Desmond and Echeta, and of course, uh, Anthony Bekile for being a part of this conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll take a short break. And when we return, political parties in River State protest not receiving election grants. We'll be back to talk with those parties' representatives. Stay with us.